All right, welcome back to the second part of drawing the cowboy tarantula. Okay, so basically what I had done was I extended the cephalothorax, remember that part of the body where the head and the torso are together. Um, I made, I extended the torso just a little bit. Um, I made the top of it, which is the head portion of it, more protruding. Also, I made the abdomen a lot larger. Okay, so um, right now he looks more like a tarantula than a regular spider, wolf spider, or a daddy long legs like I had him before. So uh, this is what I have so far. And uh, what I'm going to do now is focus on drawing in the fangs. Well, we're going to go with the pedipalps, all right, because that's a, one of the um, primary features of a, of a tarantula. They uh, use these append these extra appendages. They're not arms by any means, you know, but they're appendages that are used in like mating rituals. Maybe um, digging, and that's what they're used for. Okay, there we go. We'll just have them like coming down, kind of like this. There we go. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and draw in the fangs, which is the exciting part of this whole draw. One of the exciting parts of this whole drawing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go about go we'll draw these. Right. And now we're going to go ahead and draw in the fangs. They're basically in like a hooked downward position. Go ahead and raise those. Make these nice and sharp, you know. <laughs> All right, now on the top here, we're gonna draw in some eyes. We won't be able to fit in all eight of them, but we could fit in about, about a few, I'd say. Okay, so we're gonna go, we'll go right here. Okay, we can make this uh, cephalothorax a little bit bigger. There we go. Hope you folks are getting ready for Halloween. I sure am. It's, it's my favorite holiday of the year. And hopefully this um, tutorial will embolden you to get more involved in the holiday. So, it's all good. I'm gonna draw like an eye right here. Like another eye right here, all right? So basically there it is. Now what I'm gonna do is, um, since tarantulas don't have sharp pointed tips um, at the ends of their legs, you know, that's basically like, like, like a fantasy drawing right there. We'll make a more spherical, you know, kind of like, kind of like that. But there is a claw here, okay? Keep that in mind. So we'll do that to every tip of each arm is make, is to make them spherical. Each one having a claw. There it is. There we go. Like that. Like that. Yeah, we could go a little lower, couldn't we? Go right here, where we were originally. And um, keep doing this for the next four appendages.
make them a little curved inward or like concave. If you guys can see this, all right. All right, now the fun part is we're gonna go ahead and draw in. Um, make sure this is adjusted right. There we go. We're gonna draw in um, the hair of the um, character. Make him really hairy and creepy looking, you know. It's going to be a comedic drum, but it's not going to be that comical, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. I do the legs, make those nice and make them hairy as well. Really fuzzy and creepy looking, you know. And this drawing is brought to you by Tuya Mo and Horror Publishing. as these characters are totally invented by guess who. All right, so there we go. All right. There we go. Well, he's looking creepy already. That's good. Gotta, gotta give him a mane of some sort, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta do that. Let's have it like come straight down the body of the tarantula's cephalothorax, you know? <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go ahead and start working more on the other legs. We could turn this around. All right. As I said, those segmented parts that comprises the each leg will be obscured by the hair. So it was no biggie as well. It was no biggie, that's for sure. There we go. Here I go ahead and do the um, other one, other legs. What I try, what I'm gonna try to accomplish tonight with this drawing is to add in some of his clothing, which I think will be kind of cool, especially his ten-gallon hat. <laughs> The other night, I watched the old movie Arachnophobia for some inspiration. After all these years, it's still a good movie. Highly recommend it if you're a movie buff. Hair sticking. 
snap. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other appendages on the opposite side. And I'll be given this um, character a particular uh, coloring scheme. It's going to be a black and white drawing, but um, what I mean by that is that certain parts of its appendages will be dark, darker than others. Just to indicate to you that it's a that the figure is based on a on the desert, on the Arizona blonde tarantula. A phono cow. Co Aphono, aphono pelma cal, cal, calcades, calcodes, aphomo pel, pelma, aphomo pelma calcodes. That's the Latinized name of the specimen or species. <laughs> there we go. That was finished. There we go. go make these mains a little bit more profound okay and of course the pedipalps make those a little more, more creepier there we go Go ahead, darken its eyes a little bit. <laughs> okay, and now the fun part. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, draw more hair. These little two. There we go. And I will be right back. Just one second. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw the cowboy hat. Well, it's more, going to be more like a, more akin to a sombrero. All right, and I'm going to have, have it coming out to like right here. And it's going to be, it's going to have like a sideways look on his head. There we go. Kind of like that. The centerpiece will be jetting up right around here. And we're going to make this, give this um, top, the hat, the rim, more body. There we go. To show that it is a sombrero. Or strictly in Mexico by the natives. Okay, great. It's, like, it's kind of like similar to a Mexican cowboy hat, I'd say. Want to look at it that way? So, um, 
Got this thing. We could have this thing coming up a little bit more like right in here to show that the hat is actually on his head. Right. We could probably like darken it up a little bit inside, you know. Okay. And the pedipalp, oh, well, it's right here. So obviously it will obscure the right side of the sombrero's brim. Yeah. That's what we'll, there it is right there. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and add more hair onto its abdomen. We've got the, got the hat um, where we want it. We'll be making um, changes and alterations to that as we progress on with this drawing. And, um, but in the meantime, I'm add more hair to his body. In the next video, I, what I will do is add in a poncho, okay? So that should be cool. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let me go ahead and I readjust this camera. That way you could look at it. See it. And there it is, okay? And thank you for tuning in. And part three will be filmed this time tomorrow and uploaded on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Good night.